Welcome to our Bible Stories channel, where we explore the timeless narratives of faith, courage, and divine intervention found within the pages of Scripture. Today, we delve into a captivating tale from the book of Daniel, the remarkable account of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego facing the fiery furnace. This story isn't just a historical event, it's a powerful demonstration of unwavering faith and the miraculous presence of God in the midst of adversity. Join us as we uncover profound truths and insights that resonate through the ages. As we journey through this narrative, I encourage you to engage with us by leaving a like, commenting your reflections, and sharing this video with your church group, family and friends. Let's dive into this compelling story and discover how it echoes themes of trust, divine protection, and the transformative power of authentic faith. During an era of widespread tyranny, Babylon emerged under the oppressive rule of Nebuchadnezzar, a proud and cruel king. He delighted in tormenting those who dared oppose him and had already conquered Syria, setting his sights on Egypt next. However, Judah stood in his path, a key conquest needed for his grand ambitions. Nebuchadnezzar's strategic move involved capturing and educating young Jewish men like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah, renamed Belshazzar, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, to serve his empire with wisdom and knowledge. Interestingly, Nebuchadnezzar's story intersects with the divine presence, Jesus, in the book of Daniel, long before Jesus' birth. Nebuchadnezzar, eager to solidify his power, commissioned a giant gold statue in Babylon, standing 90 feet tall. This statue symbolized his political and religious authority, and its unveiling demanded absolute worship from all attending dignitaries and officials. Disobedience carried a severe punishment, immediate death by fiery furnace. Despite overwhelming pressure, three young men, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, refused to worship the statue, holding fast to their convictions. They knew compliance would betray their deepest beliefs, standing as a testament to unwavering integrity amidst societal fear and obedience. This incident did not escape notice. Some court officials, driven by envy over the elevated positions these foreign captives had attained, saw a chance for revenge. They hurried to Nebuchadnezzar, presenting their accusations filled with jealousy. They portrayed the three young men as challenges to the king's authority. Aware of the severe consequences such a challenge could bring, they exploited the situation to eliminate unwelcome rivals in the court's power dynamics. This news angered Nebuchadnezzar, but surprisingly, he gave the accused a second opportunity to defend themselves. Perhaps he hesitated to lose valuable servants or hoped they would yield. However, the king made his intentions clear. He demanded complete submission. They faced a dire choice, bow to the idol or face death in the furnace. With the arrogance of absolute power, Nebuchadnezzar taunted any god's ability to save the youths, asking, Which god can rescue you from my authority, King Nebuchadnezzar? Enraged by Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's defiance, Nebuchadnezzar summoned them for a personal confrontation. Already impatient with what he saw as their disrespect, Nebuchadnezzar angrily questioned the young men, Is it true that you do not serve my god, or worship the golden statue I have erected. His question mixed disbelief with a final demand for compliance. The young men's response was courageous and resolute, echoing through the ages. They faced the king calmly but defiantly, saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to defend ourselves in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will rescue us from your hand, O king. But even if he does not, be it known to you, O king, that we will not serve your gods or worship the golden image you have set up. These words were not merely a refusal to bow down. They represented an unwavering faith and a complete rejection of the tyranny symbolized by the statue. 
In a final act of defiance, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego chose death over betraying their devotion to God. With a conviction inspired solely by deep faith, their response not only challenged Nebuchadnezzar's authority, but also tested the extent of his rage. The king, consumed by uncontrollable anger, commanded the furnace to be heated seven times hotter, a decision fueled by vengeance and a demand for absolute obedience. The strongest soldiers in Nebuchadnezzar's army were called upon to carry out this tyrannical order. They bound Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in their customary attire, robes, coats, and turbans, and cast them into the searing furnace. The heat was so intense that it engulfed even the soldiers who executed the king's command. However, as Nebuchadnezzar observed, anticipating a display of his absolute power, an astonishing sight unfolded before him. Inside the furnace, instead of just the three condemned men, there appeared a fourth figure walking freely among the flames, untouched by harm or pain. Astonished and troubled, the king exclaimed to his advisers, Did we not throw three men bound into the fire? Upon their affirmation he marveled, Look, I see four men walking in the fire, unbound and unharmed, and the fourth looks like a divine being. The scene inside the furnace became a divine spectacle that defied all comprehension. Witnessing Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego emerge unscathed from the fire was miraculous enough. But the presence of a fourth figure resembling a divine being elevated the event to a profound spiritual dimension. This extraordinary vision suggested that Christ himself, in his pre-incarnate form, had descended into the midst of the blazing furnace to walk alongside them during their greatest trial. The suggestion that Jesus was present in the furnace, shielding and comforting the three men, presents a profound image of divine love and commitment that transcends all time and circumstances. Nebuchadnezzar was amazed as he watched the men walk freely, unharmed by the flames that only consumed the ropes binding them, symbolizing liberation from earthly constraints through faith. This narrative vividly demonstrates God's ability to surprise and touch even the most hardened hearts. The tyrant who sought to assert his dominance through power and fear was now faced with a force that challenged his control and understanding. The lesson conveyed by the fiery ordeal was not just one of miraculous survival, but of redemption and revelation. Nebuchadnezzar, witnessing this spectacle, recognized that he who created the soul can draw near with his sword, even penetrating the heart of an emperor. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego walked calmly through the flames, displaying a serenity akin to strolling in a pleasure garden. Their peaceful passage through the fire was not mere survival, it was a powerful testament to their unshakable faith and divine protection. The furnace, intended as a place of death, became a symbol of freedom where they moved confidently, trusting that the same God who shielded them within the fire would also deliver them completely. Nebuchadnezzar, once convinced of his own supremacy, now faced the undeniable reality that the authority of the God of Israel surpassed his own. This revelation had a profound impact. How could he, after witnessing such a demonstration of divine power, continue demanding worship as if he were a deity? In response to this extraordinary sight, Nebuchadnezzar approached the mouth of the furnace and summoned the three men out, acknowledging them as servants of the Most High God. When they emerged from the flames, surrounded by the astonished captains, governors, and counselors, it was clear that the fire had not harmed them at all. No singed hair, no burnt clothing, not even the smell of smoke lingered on them. The account of the fiery furnace left a lasting impression not only on the physical bodies of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who emerged unscathed, but also on the hearts and souls of all who witnessed this remarkable miracle. The fact that not even a single hair of these men was singed by the intense flames, whereas others perished from the furnace's mere heat at its entrance, underscores the miraculous nature of their preservation. 
This event serves as both a testament to God's divine power of deliverance and a vivid demonstration of profound truths about faith and trust in God. The response of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego during this ordeal exemplified three crucial aspects of their faith, unwavering belief, complete trust, and absolute surrender to God. Through their steadfast faith, these three men not only survived, but also revealed God's power to all who doubted. This narrative teaches us that even in the face of severe trials, God's presence can transform suffering into an opportunity to strengthen our faith and character, as highlighted in Romans 5, which reminds us that adversity can shape our perseverance, character, and hope. The story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego reminds us that amidst adversity or persecution, we must hold on to our faith in God, knowing that He is always with us. These three men faced the fire with unwavering trust that God could rescue them, yet even if He chose not to, it would not diminish His sovereignty or goodness. Their experience emphasizes that our earthly journey is temporary, and challenges and persecutions, however intense, are part of a greater purpose that prepares us for eternity with God. The transformation of Nebuchadnezzar from a tyrant, demanding worship to a leader who recognized and honored the true God, is a testament to the impact of authentic faith on others. His change of heart and promotion of true worship among his subjects demonstrate the transformative power of faith lived out openly and with conviction. Moreover, the presence of Christ in the Old Testament is a profound theological theme for Christian understanding. Although Jesus is not explicitly named in these texts, he is seen in various theophanies and prefigurations throughout Hebrew scriptures. Jesus himself affirmed this connection, stating that the scriptures of Moses spoke about him, John 5.46. The Old Testament narratives, such as the lives of Joseph and Abraham, serve as symbolic precursors to the greater work accomplished by Jesus Christ. The story of Joseph mirrors Jesus' journey, betrayed and eventually exalted to save many, just as Jesus was betrayed, crucified and resurrected to redeem humanity. Similarly, Abraham's willingness to sacrifice Isaac foreshadows God's ultimate provision of Jesus Christ, the Lamb who takes away the sin of the world. These Old Testament events symbolize the sacrifice and victory of Christ, laying the foundation for the Christian faith. Jesus, described as the living word, is the focal point towards which all the Bible's narratives and prophecies point, from the promises to Abraham to the prophecies of Isaiah. The entire Bible testifies to God's plan for humanity's reconciliation through Christ, offering hope of forgiveness and eternal life. In conclusion, the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego parallels that of Jesus in significant ways. Both faced persecution and death due to their faithfulness to God, yet through Jesus' resurrection, God demonstrated power over death and sin. These stories are not merely historical accounts, they serve as living encouragements to the faithful, reminding us of God's faithfulness and saving power throughout history. What an incredible story of faith and divine intervention we've explored today. The courage displayed by Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego inspires us to stand firm in our beliefs, even in the face of overwhelming pressure. Their unwavering trust in God, even unto death, reminds us of the unshakable foundation our faith can provide. As we reflect on this narrative, let's consider its relevance to our lives. How can we emulate the faith and conviction demonstrated by these three young men? How does this story deepen our understanding of God's faithfulness and His ability to deliver us from life's fiery trials? Don't forget to like this video, share your thoughts in the comments, and spread the message by sharing with your church group, family, and friends. Together, let's draw inspiration from the scriptures and continue to grow in our faith journey. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of God's transformative power in the lives of His faithful servants. Stay tuned for more enriching Bible stories that illuminate the path of faith and hope. God bless you all.